So uh, we will start without slides because of technical issues. I think it is not a huge issue for you, okay? Okay. So, um, hi everyone, I am Adriana. I have been practicing law for uh, 12 years in Ukraine and last one in Germany. And uh, for the next couple of minutes, I will share with you how Python and digitalization uh, overcome corruption, bureaucracy, and not just make life better and comfortable, but actually in some cases can help save your life physically and in professional uh, manner. So I'm going to introduce you a couple of services. And uh, wow, we have uh, our slides and it's very convenient time for that. And the first one is uh, Prozoro. Great. It is, an, it is an electronic public procurement system that allowed health uh, tenders by state transparent. It is uh, via Python. So what does this mean? Health tenders by state transparent. It means if any authority need to buy something, for example, any services or any product, for example, IT services, they mandatory oblige to make request via Prozoro and any company can uh, apply and actually the company with the best price and best experience wins. So not just that company that have relation with officials, but any company. Uh, what does this important? Because for example, for a couple years of operating, it's uh, allowed to save uh, like 60 billion dollars. It's huge sum. But what is interesting in, in this Prozoro? Ukrainian government has never requested such system. So who did it? Who made it possible? It was completely initiative of your colleagues, IT, Ukrainian IT specialist. It was just the same conference like uh, here. And in such conference born very brave idea to make life better, not in local sense, but in global sense. And you can imagine how it was difficult to broke such uh, corruption system. But they worked hard. It was a uh, proactive position. It was hard work, daily work of uh, your colleagues, my colleagues, and it is possible. So now Prozoro is uh, mandatory to whole of Ukraine. Even more, it is uh, open code and you uh, can uh, just uh, Google it and you can use for your brave purposes. And what is um, important, European Commission recognized such system and um, recommended. It's uh, like a huge step because it wasn't a vertical policy like now, Ukraine and digitalization, we make a lot of huge uh, steps in, in such, uh, such area. It was uh, just initiative your colleagues. So it's uh, uh, produced huge changes and uh, make Ukrainian, all Ukrainian government purchases transparent. So the next one is, uh, for instance, if you want to know more about such companies that win or any other companies that operated in Ukraine. As a lawyer, I know how uh, difficult for me, as I am specialist, to use uh, uh, government uh, business register. It's horrible. But you have just Telegram and you have just simple chat. You passed name of company or if you know the company ID and couple of seconds you will receive all information about such company. Official information with last update with all shareholders, all directors and etc. etc. Easy and you have all information that you need. For instance, for example, you have to draw your contract, you just put name of company and voila, you have all data and it takes really a couple of seconds. But I have to emphasize that Ukraine wasn't such, uh, did, did, uh, in, in, was not uh, um, such um, development in digitalization, for instance, just eight years ago. No, we 
uh, made such uh, steps the last years, and uh, as I mentioned, it wasn't the government policy. It was initiative, uh, lawyers, NGOs, IT specialists, and of course, it made huge influence in all areas of life. For instance, if you would like to rent government uh, land plots, you can use SETAM and uh, just um, couple of minutes you register in such electronic system and uh, you can participate in electronic tender make your step and of course if your price will be the best my congratulations you are owner of ukrainian government land plots like uh, owner or like of um, <coughs> of uh, like leasing agreement so it's make life more easier and more transparent uh, for me, what is important? I like to travel. I travel a lot. And for example, if I will have uh, court hearings today, I can use uh, a court. It's also an electronic system. I just apply my data as a Ukrainian qualified lawyer. And I uh, can participate in Ukrainian court hearings. Just be here in Thailand. No problem. Just my laptop and uh, good Wi-Fi. And that's all what I need. But if you would like to ask any Ukrainian what is the most close to our hearts, the answer will be probably the same. It is DIA. What is DIA? DIA it is an uh, electronic app in your smartphone. And in such app, you can find all documents that, that you need. For example, it is your tax, tax ID, driver license, COVID certificate, car registration. The idea you can uh, apply for any license, for, uh, for example, you, you would like to marry or you would like to divorce, you also can do everything the idea, just a couple of minutes. And uh, yes, of course, it's may, it's, um, you, you feel your life is uh, better. You have more time for your life and you don't spend life for bureaucratic procedures. But in some cases, it can save your life. Because imagine, one day, one morning, you wake up and see outside of your window tanks and fires. Near your bed, you can see your smartphone. You can grab your smartphone and flee. And actually, in Ukraine, your documents in DIA is recognized for officials. And actually, such documents, electronic documents, is recognized is more than all of your European Union countries. So it can save your life. For me, it's not a theoretical issue. It was my story. So uh, everything is in your hands. Because if you see how Python and digitalization change our lives. And if it's possible in Ukraine, I hope, no, I believe it's possible from any location. Thank you.